In this video, you'll learn what bright artificial lights are doing to your circadian rhythm, the impact that circadian rhythm disruption has on your hormones as a female, and five ways to keep your circadian rhythm in check so that you can reap the many, many benefits of circadian rhythm alignment, including providing the essential groundwork for balanced hormones. All humans have a circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is your internal 24-hour biological clock, and it's very, very important for us to regulate that biological clock in this day and age. Why is it important? Well, our circadian rhythm regulates many of our body's daily processes, including our sleep-wake cycle, our metabolism, elimination, body temperature, eating habits and digestion, and the production of certain hormones. Okay, so why are we having to take special care of our circadian rhythm in this day and age? Well, our bodies are wired to stay awake when it's light outside and sleep when it's dark outside. And prior to 1879, when Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, it was very easy for your body to remain in alignment. In those days, the only bright light people were exposed to was the sun. They couldn't walk into their kitchen and turn on their bright kitchen lights to make themselves a snack at 3 a.m. They also weren't viewing bright lights on their phones, laptops, tablets, or TVs like we are today. But these days, those things are all ordinary parts of our lifestyles. We literally have bright lights right at our fingertips 24-7. The problem is, when we view those bright artificial lights when we're supposed to be sleeping, it makes it really difficult for our brains to keep track of whether it's daytime or nighttime. And since so many of our body's daily processes depend on that information from your brain to keep them on schedule, when your brain gets confused, it leads to an awful domino effect on all of those daily processes. So what does this domino effect equate to? Well, in Elisa Vitti's book, In the Flow, she cites a 2014 paper in International Review of Psychiatry that linked circadian rhythm misalignment with an increased for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, cancer, depression, bipolar disorder, Disorder, schizophrenia, and ADHD. She went on to cite research in the annals of the New York Academy of Sciences that found that any dysregulation of our circadian clock could potentially trigger metabolic, autoimmune, or mood disorders. She also explains that while many of us know by now that the blue light from our devices is messing with our sleep, what many of us don't know is that viewing that blue light when it's dark outside can disrupt ovulation and decrease fertility. See, that's what I mean when I say there's a domino effect. After recently working overnights for a few months, I can tell you firsthand the impact that it had on my cycle. First, let me say, before I started working overnights, I had my PMDD symptoms completely under control for seven months straight. And then, shortly after I started working overnights, my symptoms came right back. So I did a little research and found a 2007 paper, pretty outdated, I know, that was published in Sleep Med, which explained that female overnight shift workers compared to non-shift workers are more likely to report menstrual irregularity and longer menstrual cycles. Now I've been a night owl pretty much my entire life, and I've also always dealt with irregular cycles and longer menstrual cycles. So it really makes me wonder how much of my menstrual related issues have been caused by my sleep habits. After learning all of this, I've started taking my circadian rhythm very seriously for really the first time in my life. And it really does make sense when you think about it. I mean, when your brain sees it get dark outside and then sees bright lights from your phone or from the lights in your home, lights at grocery stores, etc., you can see how it would get confused, right? So next I'm gonna give you my top five tips for realigning your circadian rhythm so that you can avoid that domino effect of unwanted health issues. Now, if you're someone who deals with PMDD and or hormonal imbalance, then it's especially important for you to implement these tips in your own life. Because remember, our circadian rhythm regulates the production of certain hormones. And given that PMDD occurs as a result of a woman's sensitivity to the fluctuations in her hormones, I feel like our best approach is to nurture our hormones in every way possible. So grab a pen and paper and let's dive right into tip number one. First and foremost, if you are working overnights, stop. Seriously, your health is depending on it. As much as I loved having that downtime while working overnights to work on other things that are important to me, after I saw the impact that it had on my cycle, I knew I had to put my health first and switching to day shift was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Tip number two is to look at the morning sunrise and evening sunset every day. 
I learned this tip from Stanford neuroscientist and professor Dr. Andrew Huberman. He explains that one of the most powerful things one can do for their mental and physical health is to view the sun with their eyes sunglasses off for two to ten minutes first thing in the morning. To be clear, he's not recommending that we stare directly at the sun because as we all know, that can cause severe damage to our eyes. You don't necessarily have to watch the sun rise, but you do want to catch the sun before it gets to be overhead. So sometime before 10 a.m. or so. According to Dr. Huberman, what this does is it triggers the cortisol and melatonin pathways in the brain and body to be in the right rhythms. When you look at the sky and you see that contrast between yellow and blue light that occurs around the time of sunrise and sunset, that signals your brain to tell all the cells in your body whether they should be ramping up for the day or winding down for the day. And when you do this regularly, it allows your body's daily processes to stay on schedule. So by simply looking at the morning sunrise and evening sunset, you're actually doing yourself a ginormous favor. Tip number three is to try to shut off any bright lights after dark and to completely eliminate all bright lights between the hours of about 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. We've all heard by now that the blue light on our phones and other devices disrupt our sleep. But Dr. Huberman explains that it's not just blue light that's the problem. It's bright lights of any kind. Dr. Huberman cited a paper published in Cell that showed that viewing bright lights between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. kicks off a disappointment circuit. That's right, there's actually a chemical punishment signal that suppresses dopamine when humans view bright light between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. So what we've been doing in our home is after the sun goes down, we turn off our bright daytime lights and instead turn on dim, warm Himalayan salt lighting. We have two Himalayan salt lamps, two Himalayan salt light bulbs, and two Himalayan salt night lights that I've placed throughout our home so that we can still see what we're doing after the sun goes down without having to turn on any bright lights. In total, the two lamps, light bulbs, and night lights were only $65. So it's a relatively cheap way to not only support your circadian rhythm, but to also create the most amazing calming ambiance in your home. Now as wonderful as those Himalayan salt lamps are, they aren't going to help realign your circadian rhythm if you're using your phone, laptop, or looking at any other screen after dark. So for any screen time after dark, I just put on my tinted blue light blocking glasses. Look, I know these aren't cute, but unlike the untinted blue light blocking glasses, these actually do block out blue light and they cost less than $13. Tip number five, I'm sure you've heard this one before, try to go to sleep and wake up around the same time each day. If you can't tell by now, our bodies love to stay on schedule. And when we do our part to help keep it on schedule, it rewards us by allowing us to naturally sleep better and be more alert while we're awake. Not to mention it allows us to prevent those health issues that we discussed earlier. Now does this mean that if you sleep in here and there on the weekends that you're absolutely setting yourself up for those health issues? No but you should absolutely be giving your brain the cues it needs to keep your entire body on schedule. Like, hey brain, it's getting to be nighttime now, so I'm not gonna let any bright lights trick you into thinking otherwise. So there you have it, five tips for realigning your circadian rhythm. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. As always, I truly appreciate your support and I will see you in next week's video.